pilot, but you can find something on the on between those things. You can be a CFI. That's what my uh, title today. I'm a flying instructor, uh, single engine, multi engine. I'm just finished my CFII. I have not finished yet, uh, but we are right there. What I do full time right now is a flying instruction. So I teach people how to fly, and I love it. There is nothing else I would like to do. It's it's fun when it gets you and you and you and you start to get man. I got my license, and you take the picture, priceless. Mm -hmm. Everything else, master card, twelve thousand dollars, at least. You can do it with eight thousand, but if you wanna have an idea how much it would cost financially, or well, with between eight to twelve thousand dollars a day for a private pilot. I know you guys, somebody gonna sponsor you. That's why I was talking about scholarship. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing. I personally, I'm gonna talk about my experience. Uh, if you notice my accent, I'm originally from Brazil. So for me, when I came to America, it was really hard. I came on the uh, work visa and uh, I was living in Hickory, North Carolina. So I was always involved with uh, aviation. I love to see airplane going down and up. It's crazy, we're dysfunctional. Because we keep looking at people down and up, up now and down. So anyways, we just love those things. We love this machine that can be in the air and uh, create something called lift. Have you heard about lift? Okay, that's just for the, I'm not talking with the pilots, everybody else. I'm talking just with the new, new guys. So I'm going to ask a question. What is uh, the four force that make a, fly, a, a airplane to fly? You. Beautiful, awesome. He is the man. Okay, uh, we got another one over there. So I'm gonna ask a question. <coughs> no, no, I'm gonna ask a question for you. Or do you wanna ask a question for me? Let's make let's make a political correct. So ask me a question. Anything. Okay, just think about it, so that way we don't have a gap on the talk. By the way, how many minutes you have to talk here? Uh, yeah, no. It's Hour and 15 minutes? <laughs> no. Okay. No, no, seriously. 15. One, 15 minutes. 15. Okay. Uh, so just make sure that they can get bored. Because most of the conversation, even uh, I have uh, one of my colleagues, uh, his name is Zach. Uh, he works with Gravy Aviation. And right now we have Instagram for the young people, old people. I'm 47. Who's over 40 here? Let's see how many people over 40. We like Facebook. But the young people, they like Instagram. Instagram is just a big boom, 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 boom. So Instagram is booming. Our Instagram is growing really, really fast. And I even they said, oh, Ron, you have to open Instagram. I said, I don't know much about media. You know what I mean? I'm on the Facebook uh, chapter. I'm not on the chapter of Instagram. No, no, just what? And I, every time that I'm talking, I say, who's, who's your instructor? I'll teach you this. Who's your instructor? I'm always uh, asking those questions. Say, you should open an Instagram called who's your instructor. And that's what I did. Uh, you can, uh, if you guys want to take a, uh, take a look on Instagram, so who's in shock, I put it right there. And I put some videos, some pictures, something related always to aviation. As I said, aviation is a beautiful thing. Um, I work also as a ferry pilot. I have delivery to Brazil, seven, uh, 152s and one 150. I don't do any more, I'm married, that's my wife here. I have two kids, I think it's a... Uh, uh, it's a beautiful way to build hours. As a pilot, you know it's awesome. It takes about 80 hours to deliver a plane to Brazil. You have a stops and go slow. When you have 152 about, if you have a lot of a headwind, you go like 70 uh, knots. You look and you spin the like you look. Sometimes if you slow down the power, the airplane starts to move backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just unbelievable. But guess what? Those planes, it teach you skills. You have to learn somewhere. Airplane knowledge is very beautiful, it's very welcome, but it skills what kills you. So, and we don't like this in aviation. Safety, 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 safety. I cannot re-emphasize uh, re this word anymore. Every day when I leave my house, we kiss each other, we kiss the family, the, the boys, where we talk, safety. Not only in the fly, but safety in the kitchen, safety in the restroom, safety anywhere. Life is too, um, it's too fragile. And we love the people, we love this environment. Like you guys, why, why are you guys doing it here? What is the reason that you guys here? Whatever, the reason, so tell me what's your reason. You're gonna be the, the target. 
<laughs> you love aviation. You see, has a passion. And there's something, do you know why you have this passion? Fascinates you. Okay, let me see another uh, answer so we can know the, the young mind, well, how they think. So why like aviation? Why, 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 why aviation? <laughs> Okay, your first license, uh, what is the first license you get as a pilot? What is the first step? Private pilot license. You know what is a PP stand for? Private pilot. But beyond the private pilot, it's talk about procedure and precision. So that means we have a step to follow. Do you know what's the number, cause number one of accident in aviation? No matter if you're ATP, airline transport pilot, or if you're Recreational pilot. Let's put the. Do you know what's the cause number one of accident? The pilots can ask the question. Loss of control. Okay, two. Give me more. Let's 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 dig. Let's dig. Let's let's interact here. You the man. Cause number one of accident. The pilot. You got him. You got it on the point. The FAA tells us the non users of checklist procedure. We have to follow procedure. Checklist, 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 and checklist. That's safety, 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 safety. There's nothing secret on this. People say, oh, I forgot this. Man, checklist is right there. Read your checklist. If you follow checklist, believe me, uh, I know we have now this political correct, but I believe here, uh, we're majority of Christian, right? We follow the Bible. So the Bible is our guidelines. Guess what? The checklist is our Bible. We must follow the checklist. If we don't follow the checklist, we're going to be... Mm -mm. That's any investigation. Who like to watch those programs on the TV talk about aircraft or uh, uh, aircraft accident uh, reports? Uh, I don't know what's the name right now. Kind of fade in my mind. That you guys are watching over there. I had one guy, one kid, 17 years old. He came to me and he watched and watched and watched. He said, Ron, I'm, I'm scared to fly. So don't watch anymore, man. <laughs> he said, hello. <laughs> because he started to be so afraid because he was like this. Oh, man, what about this happened with me? He said, don't watch anymore. So it's affecting you negatively. So those things is, is entertainment. It's not educational, by the way. So the TV wants to keep your attention like this, you focus. Like every eye is looking at me right now, so they have this magic to keep you mesmerized, entertaining. You say, oh, okay. So they generate fear. Here, I don't want to generate fear. I, I want to generate in your feelings and emotion, confidence, trust. You can believe on the machine that you fly. It's a tool. How many people think it's like to, uh, to uh, ride a bicycle in two wheels? How this is this possible? When you understand the mechanics, the physics, whoop. Hello, it's easy, it's not a big deal. It's the same thing with the airplane. When you start to fly in the beginning, maybe you get anxious, and do you know what's the passion that comes from aviation? Uh, how many, uh, from those uh, new uh, young pilots to be. So, have you been in an airplane? Have you been in an airplane? Have you been in an airplane? Did you felt something like, man, like some adrenaline? So, you know, adrenaline is addictive. It's a drug, but it's built right here in your brain. And it's a beautiful drug, a drug. It's the only one that your parents would not say, you can use my brother. It's, cost, it's kind of expensive too. Because flies, it's, uh, today if you're gonna fly on average about $130 an hour, plus the flying instructor. But this is very healthy for your liver. So I'm gonna give you some medical. And as older we become, as more you find, that's good for your liver. Do we have any doctor here and there? So somebody nurse that people understand the physiology? Okay, we don't have one, so. But do some study how adrenaline can boost your immune system. Did you know about that? Did you know about that? 
All right, very good. So, but that's the point. Aviation is a beautiful thing. Uh, I deliver seven planes to Brazil, 152 and 150. Uh, I don't. I like to call those because it's the hardest one. I have flown, uh, you name it, single engine twin. I just deliver uh, Bonanza to Brazil. So it's a little, little bit faster. With retractable gear, fast airplane, nice, nice avionics. Uh, one time I tell a story. Uh, this, because you guys love stories, I believe. Because every human being loves stories. I was delivering a Cessna 150, I mean 152. So, and uh, say, how you get in Brazil? That's sometimes people ask me. So, how, what is your route? Do you go to the Central America, like El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala, Colombia? No, no. We go through the Caribbean. Uh, my first exit is to Fort Lauderdale Executive, uh, Fox Chart X ray Echo, the airport. And then we fly toward Bahamas. Uh, we fly Exuma, that's usually my first intended airport of landing. Uh, it's about in a set on the 152, it's about almost six hours flight. It's like if you want to go a little more to Miami. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you can go, you know what I mean? You go. It's just take forever, but you can go. It, it takes you there. So anyway, when uh, I was heading to, uh, to Brazil, so I was all the Caribbean, we went to Republic of Dominican, uh, Punta Cana, uh, if people like the Caribbean, on vacation. So we went to the British Virgin Island. I tried to avoid the any US territory because when you go inside the US territory, you must have a flight plan and you have to have clearance. So, and you have to have at least 24 hours in advance. So, and that's why sometimes it, be, it becomes difficult. So it's, it's a little bit more paperwork, and we try to avoid the paperwork. So we try to go to the British Virgin Islands, to the Dominican Republic, and so on. So as I was reaching uh, South America past the equator line, so I was already in, in Brazil. Uh, that's the north, that's called Boa Vista, the city, and then you go to Amazon. Amazon, uh, 2,000 miles radius, it's only jungle, 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 jungle. You look like this, it's a green carpet, depending on how you, your altitude. A Cessna 150, my cruising altitude is about 7,500 or 9,500. I don't do piston aircraft. We know that 10,000 feet, that's the, the top of the peak of the best performance of a piston aircraft. So, and plus for oxygen, uh, it's better to fly low. So I do like 7,500. As I was going to the, I had a Bose commercial. Anybody work for Bose here? So I was listening to my music here and fly my pop up. So suddenly uh, I noticed that I didn't feel much vibration and I looked at the RPM, it dropped. Whoops. Adrenaline through my veins. I start to breathe and uh, I said, okay, training. Let's think of what's the training. Okay, uh, pilots, pilots, show me. Okay, what's the procedure for emergency when you lose an engine? Uh, okay, okay, keep going. I'm, a, I'm giving this as instruction too. I don't want to yeah. just. Look for a place to land. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, check the direction of the wind. Okay. And make your approach. Okay, okay, go on the third one. Mayday, mayday, mayday. <laughs> All right. All right. All right so I'm going to give a, a ground for you on the, by the way, my other title, I'm a triple tree ambassador. So anybody working in the aviation can promote this business. If I'm wrong, you let me know. So I'm a triple tree ambassador. So right now, guys, as pilots, not only for the new pilots, but for the, for the pilots we follow the A, A, B, C, D, E, emergency, when you lose an engine. A, airspeed, B, best fuel, C, checklist, make sure, fulfill, that you don't have, a, maybe it's a low wing you're using the wrong wing. And uh, uh, communicate on the C. D, for doors, keep your door open, because if you come in the wrong, uh, with too much airspeed, and you smash the, pl the plane, you might wanna be locked inside. You wanna be jammed, you don't wanna be doing this. You want to make sure that you can get out of the airplane. And the E, electrical. 
make sure the electrical everything shut off because you don't want to know sparkles so I simulate this with my students every almost almost every flight a B C D E so remember this that's the only thing you can do before a some people think is important is your carburetor heat so bring because the only thing we can we can interject we can do what it called we can do with the engines <coughs> bring carburetor heat a airspeed b bass field c checklist and communicate d doors e electrical if you do this procedure the map doesn't matter by the way people like to live flying here big jets big jet have similar uh, steps but the because they fly so high, so high, no matter like 40,000, 38,000 feet, on that altitude, they can reach any airport. Did you know that? So don't feel afraid if we have an airline pilot here, whatever. So they can glide to the nearest airport. They always fly on that. And they have a specific word. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it basically takes you back to the airport. So don't worry, aviation, extremely safe. Very, very safe. I have a two boys, they always fly with me. Sometimes I have a student, and uh, they become almost like arrogant because they, when is it inspired? They, they, they know so much. And they start to judge your landings. <laughs> oh, that's seven. See how much this landing here? Oh, six and five. So <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable because that's what they're listening. And uh, it's more uh, young you are and exposed to this. My kid, he does not watch my cartoons. He like to watch Amber Riddle, educational video about aviation. He said, Dad, I learned about this. So he got excited. So he said, I said, on your 16, you're going to be solo. When you're 17, your birthday gift is going to be your license. So that's all I have to share for you guys today. Uh, and I have some questions. If you have any questions. Awesome, you're good, you're good. So you're paying attention. All right, I was at 9,500 feet. Uh, I was overcast. There's some, in the Amazon, I was in Brazil, Amazon, there's a lot of big clouds, big CB, cumulonimbus, huge clouds. And I said, man, I'm over here 9,000 feet. I was listening to my music. Okay, concentration, A, B, C, D, E. So uh, for, uh, as I was talking about, as I'm a Christian, so my wife, for some reason, and she can talk about this. I let she say it because she, she likes to speak. Tell about your feelings, what happened.